Okay, let's talk a little bit more about properties. And as I said last time, passing a whole bunch of attributes this way or props like this is really inefficient. So instead, let's create a variable, which I'll call const, and I'll just call it my props. Doesn't matter what we call it right now because we're just learning how they work. And this will be a standard JavaScript object. And inside of this, I'll have keys and values. So I want to pass title, so I'll give it the key of title and then a colon, and then what the title is going to be. I'll call it my cool app this time, then a comma, and I can pass a second value or as many as I want. So I'll just pass two for right now. Subject, my subject, I shall just pass three, and we'll call it favorite color, red, which is not true, but it'll suffice for our purposes. So I've created this object, my props, and now I can pass that right in here like this. And I'll take advantage of the spread operator that's built into uh, later versions of JavaScript. Dot, dot, dot. And my name is my props. Like that. So that passes it to header. So if I go back to my app header.js, I have this.props.title. Let's see if that works. So my application is not running right now because I closed it. So let me run it npm start and I'll switch to my web browser and there it is my cool app showing up exactly as it should and of course I'm only taking advantage of one of the properties that I've passed but if I go back and look here I actually have access to everything I've passed it so index.js passes my props with all of these three objects and I can actually go back and change the app header.js instead of using that I'll use favorite color and save that I think that's what I called it let's make sure favorite color yes I spelled one the British way and one the American way just to be egalitarian so let's go back and look at our web browser and it changed it to red which was my favorite color so that's a slightly more efficient way of passing attributes uh, from our index.js Specify all of your properties inside of a custom constant or variable of some sort and pass it using the spread operator. All right, let's move on in the next lecture.